And I've seen it over and over and over again. When a man and a woman going good, and from once a woman get pregnant, the bro gone. <laughs> I must drop off of the chair. The bro gone. People, quick video. O'Neill Bryan, Elephant Man, the Energy God, the Ugly Man, Jamaican, who was born in 1975, spoke on Instagram, say he has 38 children. People, the man is just 49 years old and has 38 children. And when they ask him on the fix, don't you think it's time you should stop having children? The man said, you can't say that. When God bless you with your seed, you have to just deliver the seed. You never know which one might become a star. <laughs> Elliot, when is it that you decided, say, oh, enough is enough. We need to stop having kids. You can't decide that. No, God decide that, man. <laughs> you can't go away. I'm going with you. Ellie, there, Ellie, there, Yo. where? <laughs> Yo, don't listen to that. You don't listen to that man in the crowd. You can't decide that. No, there, there was no way I'm going to say it. You know, but after I've cut your feet, I'm going to say, yeah. 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 go on, yeah. go on, go cut your feet now. You go on. You don't know if I'm the last one or the hundred one. The one who make hundred that come be. One of the disciples, man, one of the. You have to say, you're going to disciple. One of them, one of them great men. They want to, you have done. Leave me alone, yeah. <laughs> People, I see a dysfunction. I see irresponsibility. I see the modern plantation coming to the mind of the man. And what he says, he says it's not just only him, you know. Other artists have a whole lot of children, but because he might have more than the amount, they're picking on him. For me, mm. pick the Feban B. Where oh. I'm just a few years older than the man. And one thing I've learned in life, one must have self-control. You see me when I was growing up, I never wanted to have children, period. You know why? Because I never had my old man in my life and I never want to replicate the problem. But it's a cultural norm in Jamaica. For man for just breathe and live. <laughs> man for just breathe and live. And I've seen it over and over and over again. When a man and a woman going good, and from once a woman get pregnant, the bro gone. <laughs> I must drop off of the chair. The bro gone. I said, boy, I'm a female one. You know, at that time in a woman's life, it is the most emotional. It is the most critical. And you got to tell me, say, the big boys, they're not men, you know, big boys. Say, at that point, I'm a feeling pick me. Can you imagine the madness, people? And then he has the audacity to go up on Instagram and say, boy, I'm at 38 and I laugh about it. The man is 49. <laughs> That's why I say sometimes I have a pick on Jamaica. But this is not Jamaican politics. This is Jamaican sociology. But nonetheless, it comes from the politics. So, they're responsible too. And this is why I said, Jamaica should have gone through a period of what you call re-socialization when they come out in slavery. Because you know on the plantation, man would just breed and left because they wanted the strong slaves to work the farm. So it became a cultural norm now where it's accepted. One the time I get beer data, I'm going to go to my granny and say, yeah, oh, I go to the data, stop me a grandma. <laughs> the boy and I say, hey boy, you idiot. A trunk, a trunk, make you get so much girl. I say, all right, leave it alone. <laughs> Give me the elephant. You feel like that. On the flip side, we see Senegal related his new president, Faya Bosoru. He's 44, and the man marched out there with his two wives. African president elected, walked out with two first ladies. The man do it open, the man do it legal, and the man said, This is our culture here in Senegal. No, my question to you people. We know in the West, it's not polygamous. You don't have more than one wife. There are Muslim here who have more than one wife. But in a Jamaican setting and other countries, because it's not just Jamaica where you have this whole lot of children. It happened in America. It happened all around. But we're just talking about elephant man. The question I want to ask, are the women 
supposed to be blamed here of really giving access to the ugly man to till the vegetation? <laughs> or is it him who has no self-discipline? Is it the government who has failed him? Is it the fact that he never had proper upbringing to guide him? And by asking those questions, do you think Jamaica and many countries in the Western world should legalize polygamous relationships so a man can marry more than one wife? So at least he doesn't have those bastard children running all around? Because, based on the statistics in the people, they say that the largest percentage of incarcerated youths in the Western world, in America and Jamaica, don't have fathers in their life. The largest percentage of youths who are in prison don't have father to guide them. So he running around and having fun and laughing. He really doesn't understand at 49 when you move from the boy to a man, the man still don't understand the ramifications of his lustful actions. People, drop your comment. Tell me what you think. Who is responsible for this man? Lack of discretion. Irresponsibility. And village ramism. <laughs> is there such a word? Village ramism? Yeah, village ram. Easy. People, I am out. It's a short video. Let me know what you think. Because the energy, God say, full of energy. And he has a huge sexual appetite. Like an elephant. <laughs> People, catch you in the next video. Peace. You feel like God.